Is there any other places? I am playing this game with one hand right now. Like, geez. oh, what the hell is this? Movie theater. The Wizard of Monomi. Wild Gunman Monokuma. What the fuck am I looking at? Any of these places can just lead to murder. Welcome! We're currently showing right now, so please wait five minutes for the next showing to start. Showing? What does that mean? Are your eyes just for show? Look around, this is a movie theater, right? Then I'm obviously showing a movie. Showing a movie? Well, I guess there's no need to even ask. You're just gonna sit this in the next mo motive, right? Just like Twilight Syndrome Murder Case? I'm definitely not going to watch your movie, whether it- Ah, uh, fuck. Whatever it is, I'm not going to go see it. <laughs> My goodness, and I was thinking about giving you an invitation ticket. But I won't allow you to not watch it. I went through a lot of trouble making it, man. If you don't watch it, I'm going to be sad. I'm sure your movies are no different than that game you made. No, no. That game was a shabbity piece of crap. But this movie is definitely a masterpiece. Anyways, as long as I refuse to allow it, you will never have the choice to not watch it. I am Monokuma! I'm Monokuma! On this island, my word is law. If I don't watch it, what are you gonna do about it? What the heck? There's no way I allow such reckless behavior. There's no way I allow it, but... I'll forgive you if you purchase a Monokuma sticker at the goods corner over there. Fuck you, low battery! Don't tell me what to do! Monokuma sticker? Is this is this the Monokuma sticker? Good. There's some strange goods on the countertop. This one looks like a toad bag made of hemp cloth and decal of Monokuma's face on it. I mean, not Monokuma, Monomi's. No. Uh, did you catch your eye? His all-purpose tote bag full for a variety of common tasks. It's a limited item. Only one person can have it. By the way, apparently tote bags were originally invented to carry around ice. So, how about it? Wanna buy it? I'll pass. Yeah, I thought you'd say that. I'd just be up front with you. I cut a lot of corners making that thing. That's too up front. If this is the sticker you were talking about... I'm sorry I was born stupid. It's not funny, and I understand it's perfect. How, af how a half task is this? To tell you the truth, this is a very lucky sticker I received from a wandering miracle working priest. And it could be yours for a special price of only 1.5 million dollars. 1.5 million dollars? Don't mess with me. I don't have that kind of money. <laughs> then you can pay me back when you get off this island. If you don't like it, you can always just watch my... Fine, I'll pay. Wow, I'm surprised. As long as I can pay it after I get out of here, I'll pay anything. Even 1.5 million dollars. You're the first person to ever pay 1.5 million dollars for a sticker. In other words, you really don't want to watch my movie, huh? That makes me a sad Monokuma. But if I'm going to make a huge profit, it's okay. I'm a mascot who has a hobby of counting money after all. You're the worst mascot ever. Come on, take it thief, and slap it on your forehead thief. Take advantage of the divine opportunity, thief. The sticker I received was even thinner and more cheap looking than I thought it would be. It was like a prize from a box of candy. Did I really agree to pay so much money for this piece of crap? Maybe I'm a little crazy. Well there, looks like that showing's over. Alrighty, I gotta collect those questionnaires. And then Mama Kuma started humming and skipping along towards the door leading into the theater. <sighs> the door opened violently and one person appeared from within. Hey, look, it's a secret Monokuma! Hey! Hey! Ah, oh, Nagito, please answer my questionnaire. <sighs> it doesn't matter if I answer it. That movie was so boring, it was my torture. Minutes felt like weeks, and while I was watching it... Hmm. Uh, yes. Well, I guess that's what art is, because it's not really art unless it's past common sense. <sighs> I thought it was going to be another motive, but I guess that's not the case. I want to let down. If money would have settled this, I should have just settled it with money. Naito so depressed. The movie must have been really, really bad. I definitely made the right call not watching it. 
All right, cool. I'm just going to pick this up and what the fuck am I looking at right now? Hold up. <clears throat> I knew you could do it. First of all, cool Monokuma. Look to the side. I is that what I think that is? It is what I think that is. It's a video game poster. Hmm. Okay, I haven't played it, but that that what I know so far is that Oh, PSP? Really? Why did it say PSP? It's a PSP in a game, and it's called, what, Danganronpa Ultra Despair Girls uh, at this time of this recording. Well, I mean, what other time would you be watching it? Can't watch it in the past. Uh, they have put this game, they have ported it to the PS4, so you can play that, but it's a side story, which I'm pretty sure has some insight on what happens between Danganronpa 1 and 2, I think. I haven't played it yet, but I will get down to playing that one day. I'm definitely gonna buy that. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. Oh man. So, what was the movie about, Kamaida? I'm so tired of boredom. If money would have gotten me out of seeing it, I should have just settled it with money. Let me ask you something. If you were told you could pay $1.5 million to not watch the movie, I'd gladly pay it. Quicker answer. The movie must have been that bad, huh? Well, goodbye, guys. Oh, shit. Don't do that. Hajime, over here. Please hold on. So, you know, something happened. Just now, I went to the hospital and it appears Mikon has made a very serious discovery at the hospital. Is Fuyuhiko there? A very serious discovery at the hospital? It's not strange drugs or thick needles or anything like that, right? Hajime, it appears you're on the same... <laughs> you are the same as me. Huh? Is it... <laughs> it is the same as if I turned around, he's there. But I also remember that person in the wind. Wait, what? What are you talking about? Jeez, are you so unrefined? It's a Japanese legendary medical drama. What the hell? The person in the wind aired in 1948 and set the standards for every trendy drama that followed. It's about a righteous rookie doctor and an elite senior, senior doctor who fight over their mutual love interest. Actually, the lead the lead actress and actresses got married in real life. Hold on, why do you know so much about old Japanese medical dramas? <laughs> Anyways, please hurry. We'll be waiting at the patient's room at back of the hospital first floor. Patient room? Back at the hospital first floor? I don't really understand, but how do you not understand this, you fucking stupid? I might <laughs> I might as well head over to the hospital. Fuyuhiko's obviously in the hospital. Obviously. Oh, Kamaeda, how'd you get here before me? You're late, Hajime. It looks like you're the last one. Are there those here already? There's a patient room lining the hallway, but everyone's apparently gathered in the room in the very back. You're not going to with them? Miss Sonya, as expected from the Ultimate Princess, she cordially asks me to come. She's very much in touch with the feelings of us common folks. Nevertheless, I know my place and I am not reckless enough to go along with her. Since it's going to be such a touching scene, it's a worthless thing like me would just be a nuisance, right? A touching scene. Hajime, I'm jealous of you. Jealous of me? You don't know that what your talent is, but you're showing no distress and you're... <coughs> you're even opening up to everyone. I'm sorry, I fuck. My throat is getting really dry. Great! I need to like drink some water or some shit. That must mean you have lots of confidence in yourself, right? Uh, are you being sarcastic? No, not at all, man. But still, I do wonder what sort of talent you really possess. Since you dragged it... Uh, since you dragged it out this long already, I'm sure it must be apparently magnificent talent. Who knows? It's not like my fault for dragging this out. You're right. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for stopping you for such a foolish conversation. Please, go ahead. Take care. After all, why do you really want to say to me? I don't know what you want to say, but goodbye, Komaeda. I don't want to spend any more time with you. You're going to fucking get me killed. Oh, this is very clean. So they said all the way in the back. What the fuck am I looking at right now? What is this? I'm sorry, I'm playing this with one hand right now for no reason. What the hell is this? What am I? What is this? There's no way I can just examine it. Heaven? Huh? What the fuck? Oh, that's a secret Monokuma? That's cool. Are you serious? Huh. Okay. They said 
on the first floor last room, right? I can hear voices on the other side of the door. Sounds like they're all really here, but what are they doing? I had a feeling uh, something bad was happening again. Cautiously, I opened the door. Huh? I couldn't help but raise my voice. What? You all look like you've seen a ghost. Hey, Hiko, are you right? The lines are voice, and I know that. I know that the lines are voice, but I couldn't help it. <laughs> it's just a scratch. That's not a scratch at all, though. Well, I'm relieved to see you. I was worried you were done for. <laughs> There's no way I'd die from something like this. There's no way I can die. Earlier I asked Monokuma and he showed me his medical records. There's a lot of sword related wounds, but they were relatively light wounds. No organs or nerves were damaged. Considering how fiercely he was attacked, this is pretty miraculous. <laughs> Mir miraculous, where the fuck that word was, I, I wasn't paying attention. Hey, you're a ballsy one. Is that what they call having the devil's luck? So. Who knows, maybe it wasn't luck. Well. Maybe Pekko gave her life to protect Fuyuhiko. She protected him while she was getting attacked by the horde of uh, marionettes. Ma Mary marionettes. Marionettes. But if she really wanted to protect Fuyuhiko at all costs, it's not strange to think that she would have done that. No, I think it's better if we think about it like that. You. You think so too, right, Fuyuhiko? That must have been what you thought. There's no way you can die, right? Who knows? After forcing out those words, Fuyuhiko turned to his bed away from us. And stopped talking. Um. Uh, I think Fuyuhiko should rest for a while. His wounds haven't fully healed, so it'd be bad if he overexerted himself. <laughs> no need to worry, I'll take care of him for the time being. Listen, Mikan. Don't get too close to him, motherfucker. You understand me? You're my waifu, and no one's gonna take you from me. I mean, that's what a nurse is for. You hear that, Fuyuhiko? Just relax and get some sleep. I'll be the one who avenges you. Seriously, he's not dead. Uh, you shouldn't, you know, talk so loudly in front of the injured. Hold on! Akane, Fihio has finally come back to us. You better not do anything reckless. I can't stand the thought of losing someone any longer. I know that. I just have to win, right? This is bad. This is bad. She doesn't understand at all. Then. Eh, do whatever you want. Hey, Nakamoru. Uh, you're the kind of woman who refuses to listen once her mind is made. I know that all too well. So, do whatever you want. I don't care about you anymore. However... I'm not. I'm never going to do it to you again. Wait, what? Huh? It? P please keep your voices down. You're the loudest one here. Hey, hey wait a second, Nekamoru. It, it, it was my first time. I never thought something that feels so good could. Okay, what the fuck? <laughs> what are you guys talking about right now? My body still hasn't forgotten, and now you're saying. You just want to stop all of a sudden? It's hot. Look, my body's getting all hot again just thinking about it. What the fuck is going on? Hey, hey, hey! Are you, are you kidding me? I, is it what I think it is? Huh? If you're not going to heed my warning, it's unfortunate, but it must come to an end. As he spat those words, Nakamura left the patient's room. Hold on a second! I can't live without it. With a voice that sounded like it wanted to cling onto Nekamoro, Akane rushed out of the patient's room. Uh, I wonder what that was all about. Yeah, it's fine and quiet. Such bad manners to raise your voice inside a hospital. Humans are such foolish creatures. Hey, Hayako. You must really be upset that Fihiko's alright. It's nothing. Something's definitely wrong. I mean, she's glaring really hard at Fihiko. But I guess it makes sense. Fuyuhiko is the one who got Maharu killed by Pekka. 
and Hayako was nearly framed as her killer. There's no way she's just gonna get, uh, going to get over it. Hey, why are you making such a crazy, uh, scary no, face? Right? Like, no matter what, it means it, right? <laughs> wow! Kazuchi, really? Man, alright. He's still talking about it. Hey, hey. Suspicious! It's definitely suspicious. Oh. All we gotta do is follow them. You think so too, right? A fire that didn't need to be started has become a, t a towering inferno. Huh. Well, I guess I'll leave you all to it that Ibuki didn't say not one word that whole entire time. Wow. I forgot you existed. I see. I see. So, Peko's last will was probably inherited by Fuyuhiko. Huh. It's romantic, but it's just so sad. I shall put my heart and soul into my song. If you make any loud noise, Mikan is gonna get really mad at you. Did you say something? Now you're too quiet. I can't hear you at all. Oh well, I think I should just leave her be. So, what should we do? Do you guys want to call it quits for today? We can talk about it tomorrow. I know we're all tired from all walking we've done today. Uh, please leave Fuyuhiko to me. I'll make sure he's nursed back to health. I'll do my very best to nurse him back to health, so I won't, so I won't be hated. She's still glaring. For now, we decided to call it a day and headed back to our cottages. Walking around all day worse out, but the exhaustion we felt must have also been feeling of release. I arrived in my cottage much earlier than usual and fell into a deep, deep sleep. What are you thinking? Huh? You admire superheroes. What? What's with this Boku no My Hero Academia bullshit? Anyways, <laughs> don't you worry about what superheroes are like? Superheroes live to stop people from achieving their hopes and dreams, you know. They immediately attack people in groups because they don't have many friends themselves, you know. They're all short-tempered and say stuff like, Now I'm mad, and I won't forgive you, and laugh, you know. They're lazy people who run away once the other guy starts fighting back, you know. They're willing to use weapons, even if they're fighting someone who's an alone, who's alone or unarmed, you know? They're always the winner, so they don't know what it's like to have a weakling's worries, you know? And they like to wear flashy costumes, you know? Which means they're all a bunch of smart, good-looking, violent, stubborn elitists who don't have many friends. Emergency! Do, do you really want to admire people like that? And that was our Monokuma Theater. Executive Committee has an announcement to make. Good morning, everyone! Looks like today is gonna be another perfect tropical day! Now then, let's show some enthusiasm and make sure to give it our all today! Phew! It's been a while since I slept a lot. My head feels clearer thanks to that. Alright, I should head over to the restaurant. Okay. I just save my game. Now that the game has been saved, we will head to the restaurant. Oh, hey, Mikan! What's up? Good morning, Mikan. Uh, Hajime, good morning. Um, it's almost time to meet with everyone at the restaurant, right? Yeah, I was about to go as well. I'm so glad I went to check on Fuyuhiko, so I thought I was late. I see. You're so busy this morning. Not at all. I'm only useful in situations like this anyways. How's Fuyuhiko doing? Well, it might be better to ask you at the restaurant when everyone's together. I understand. Then I'll go ahead. I guess I should go to the restaurant then. Hmm. Oh man, there's a lot of people to talk to. Ugh, man, all of you are like outside today. Shit. I can't, I don't want to waste any more time. So I'm just gonna head straight to the restaurant. I can only talk to like two people in the morning, okay guys? I'm sorry. I don't want to waste time. 
Actually, let's talk to Kazuchi. I always talk to Chiki. Let me talk to Kazuchi. Yo! Yo, Hudgeman, how are you? Are you playing a, are you playing a game? It's rare to see you playing games. Yeah, well, Chiki's always into playing it, right? I could have helped but notice. So, she's letting me play it for a while. Hey. It's not like that. This is my machine. There's no reason for me to give you permission. Ooh. You said that, but you're like the queen of arcade machines. So? Really? Are you serious? You're not aware of that at all? Well, after getting beaten up in a previous match, I'll definitely return no. the favor. You don't have to return the favor. What'd you say? Are you saying I have to stay a loser? <laughs> then let me tell you this. You'll definitely catch this topic bait. You want to listen, right? Right, right, right? You just want to... Uh, you just really want to say it? Mm -hmm. Then what is it? How? Ah, listen and be amazed. There's a street on the third island with lots of busted machines, right? I found some portable game consoles things in the junk over there. Huh? Really? Is that true? So, what well, I'll tell you, you totally took the bait. But still, it looks like this is out of order. Aww. Aww, how useless. Hold on, hold on. Who do you think I am? I'll definitely fix it till it looks brand new. Then, when it's all fixed, I'll give it to you. Hmm. Then I'll... <coughs> I'm sorry. Then I'll wait, but I won't look forward to it, probably. Probably? Look forward to it, otherwise I'll be sad, you know? Just watch. I'm, I'll completely fix it up, and I'll make you say thank you with tears running down your face. Isn't his intent kind of off? Huh. Well, that was fun. Onward to the restaurant. The faces of everyone who gathered at the restaurant all look somewhat lighthearted. Everyone must be really happy that Fihi goes safe. Uh, the day ended halfway yesterday, so let us try to put together our information about the new Jeez. island. In the end, we couldn't even find a way to escape from this island, right? Seriously, you guys are useless. But there's a music venue. I got that, but what about the clues that we already need, or that we all need, or whatever fuck? I wasn't paying attention, I'm sorry. Clues like information about the island or anything that might help us understand what's happening to us. And, oh fuck, why are, why are you still running around free? Why aren't you tied up again? In the town with all those machines, I found a clue containing a file inside the laptop. You saw that too? I was told about that by Nagito, so I checked it as well. I saw it too. It's about the fact that Host Week Academy has already been destroyed. Huh? Host Week Academy has been destroyed? It's probably just another one of Monokuma's pranks. There's no way Hope Academy would fall. But even if it's a prank, it's not something we should be allowed to do. A symbol of Hope getting destroyed? It's not something you should even joke, uh, joke about. <laughs> well, if you're still wondering about it, it might be better if you just confirm it for yourself. <laughs> if I remember to do it, I'll give it a try. So basically, on the island, we found no way to escape, nor any useful clues this time around. <laughs> Hold on, wait, what? Oh, hold on. It's this time again, and this time around. Haha. <laughs> you don't have to correct us each time. Wait, what? You don't have to correct us each Wait, what? I had a moment. However, it's not all bad news. Fihiko will be able to return to us. That guy pisses me off, but it sure makes me happy to think that he's gonna come back to us. He's recovering extremely well, so I'm pretty sure he can be discharged from the hospital in one week. However,. He's probably lost the use of his right eye forever. He totally deserves that. Man. Hey, aren't you going a little too far? Man, I sure did eat. I'm stuffed today. Jeez. You certainly eat a lot without even listening to what the others are saying. Okay then, since I'm stuffed, I should go train now. Train, you say? You hate training. How rare of you. If I don't do it, I won't get stronger. I have to do it. Bye now. Oh my my! She's like really pumped. Uh, I hope she's not thinking about doing anything bad. With that, our morning minute ended and we all went back to our cottages. Is it free time? Now then, what should I do today? Free time! Alright. So, uh, before free time, I like to do this thing. This thing I call save my game. And you guys already know what we gotta do before free time. Yeah, that's right. We gotta, oh, fucking, I forgot the triangle button does shit. 
Chet. I didn't mean to press triangle. We got ahead. <coughs> oh god, I'm losing my voice. We got ahead to beach. Beach is here, right? Yep, gotta head to this beach over here. And, uh, buy some shit. Oh, hey, Kane. So this is where you're training at. I expect you to be somewhere else. Anyways, let's get these capsules. I give it a shot. Gotta get some of this, some of this crazy shit. Alright, let's see. Uh, one coin. What is that? Oh, another Mr. Stapler. Some water. Okay. Oh, what's that? Is that like coconut juice? Coconut milk, I mean? Why I call it juice? I don't know what that is. Looks like crackers. More stapler. A birthday cake. I don't know what the hell that is. Is that a boss or a birthday cake? I don't know. Some sort of fruit. Uh, a, a slinky. Tissues. Another slinky. What the fuck is that? A straight jacket? Lucky. Another birthday cake. Poster? Some weird driving thing. Headphones! Wine? Lucky. A sword? Lucky. Another sword. Lucky. Another cake. Lucky. A coconut milk. Lucky. An aeroplane. Lucky. Tissues. Lucky. Manades. Lucky. Another aeroplane. Lucky. What the fuck did I get myself into? Some random stick. Alright. Got no more coins. More headphones. Huh. So what I get? Got some mineral water, coconut juice. Oh, it was coconut juice. Damn. Uh, Non-alcoholic wine. A refreshing drink that contains non-alcohol. It tastes more like sour grape juice than actual wine. That sounds interesting. Potato chips. Queen straight jacket. Oh, it is a straight jacket. Okay. A high binding garment was worn. Uh, Queen Terrico. During escape magic performance. Huh. Okay. Two point five D headphones. Ah. Uh, wait. Let me see. Seems like something Ibuki would like. A measuring flask. What is this? Laboratory instrument. Organic since it's possible to combine this with a measuring flask. Ah. More staplers. Fun box. Mesopotamia or something. Message in a bottle. Oh, Japanese teacup. I thought it was some weird ass birthday cake. Alright. Seven sword. Mukro's knife. I fucking forgot. Damn it. Broken warhead. Oh, get a little metal gear up in here. I should probably get going.